hello my dear friends welcome back again <clears throat> hope you are all doing well we are discussing about the model question papers right so today i will discuss about the model question paper set number two question number four b as in the earlier uh, video i have discussed it about the question number b of model question paper set one it was the same on the fourier cosine transform and we were supposed to calculate fourier sine transform also but in this question we have we are supposed to calculate only uh, this uh, Fourier cosine transform of the following function f of x is equal to 4x 4 minus x 0 where 0 is sorry x is greater than 0 less than 1 x is greater than 1 less than 4 x is greater than 4 okay I am again and again emphasizing on one thing that you should <clears throat> practice uh, more and more in these type of problems these are the formula based okay so that you can easily uh, solve the problems on this particular concept okay so make sure you will practice uh, very well for the mathematics subject as uh, only by practicing <coughs> you can score well in the mathematics subject right so let us start this uh, particular problem now in the solution already we know what is the formula for the cosine transform okay f of c of u is equal to integration of 0 to infinity f of x cos of u x dx this is the Fourier cosine transform okay so but uh, the limits are from 0 to infinity but in the problem this 0 to infinity is break down into three particular functions see here 0 to 1 is the first one function and 1 to 4 is another function x greater than 4 means 4 up to infinity it will be so this is break down into three functions so i can write here integration of 0 to 1 0 to 1 f of x cos of ux dx right then integration of 1 to 4 1 to 4 is the function f of x cos of <coughs> ux dx plus then x is greater than 4 means 4 up to infinity f of x cos of ux dx right now i will just put down the function value 0 to 1 what is the f of x value when 0 to 1 is the function 4x so 4x cos of ux dx plus integration of 1 to 4 what is the 1 to 4 function here 4 minus x cos of ux dx plus integration of 4 to infinity x greater than 4 minus 4 up to infinity is the function 0 0 of cos of ux dx right now you have to integrate accordingly so apply Bernoulli's rule here <clears throat> this is u this is v right so apply Bernoulli Bernoulli's principle here Bernoulli's rule of integration Bernoulli's rule of integration so let me integrate it now f of c of u is equal to integration of uh, when it is the uv rule so you have to keep this 4x as it is this is your 4x integration of cos of ux okay so integration of cos is always sine right so it is your sine of ux upon this u will go to the denominator right this is your cos of ux not the 4x cos of ux okay this is your u now so integration of this then minus according to Bernoulli's rule I am telling about this so this is minus differentiation of 4x so differentiation of 4x will be definitely 4 so I can write here 4 and again integration of this term you have to do now okay so what is the integration of sine of ux it is minus cos of ux upon this u square okay this is integration of uh, sine of ux limits will be shifted from 0 to 1 this is your first function is complete okay then plus this integration of this term same Bernoulli's rule means 4 minus x is the constant may keep it as it is 4 minus x as it is integration of cos of ux integration of cos of ux is nothing but sine of ux upon u then minus integ sorry differentiation of this term so uh, constant uh, the differentiation of constant is 0 so here is minus x the differentiation of minus x is minus 1 I can write here okay then again integration of this sine of ux term so i will write here sine of ux is minus cos of ux upon u square this is your integration for sine of ux by u so limits will be shifted from 1 to 4 so this term is over now plus integration of 0 into this this is this will definitely become your 0 why when you just uh, keep 0 as it is uh, and uh, integrate this term okay that 0 into this is 0 then again minus differentiation of 0 will be constant so no need to write this one so it will be your 0 okay so now I will oversimplify it okay so I can write this 4 by u I can write 
outside i will left with x sin of ux and limits will be 0 to 1 okay plus for, uh, minus into minus is plus so 4 upon u square i can write outside cos of ux and limits will be 0 to 1 okay separately i am putting the limits now so that it will be easy to solve then 4 minus x i can write <coughs> So this is where u is here. I can take 1 by u outside and I mean I will remain with 4 minus x sine of ux. Okay, limits will be 1 from 1 to 4. Then this one term minus into minus is plus plus into minus is minus. So minus 1 upon u square I can write here cos of ux limits will be from 1 to 4. Now try to limit, try to apply the limits. Okay, 4 by u is same. Now when you just put limit upper limit minus lower limit instead of x you have to put 1 so this will be your 1 sine of u into 1 is sine u so 1 into sine u is sine u sine u minus lower limit 0 you have to put instead of x so 0 into this is 0 this will be your term for this after li applying limits plus 4 by u square as it is uh, cos of u x means cos of u into 1 is cos of u so cos of u minus lower limit cos of u into 0 is cos of 0 is always 1 okay plus 1 upon u into 4 minus x when you just put uh, upper limit as 4 4 minus 4 is 0 so your first term will be 0 minus lower limit 4 minus 1 means 3 3 sine of u you can write 3 sine of u here okay then this term minus 1 upon u square as it is put the limits cos of uh, this u and x is instead of x you have to put 4 so cos of 4u cos of 4u minus cos of u cos of u i hope you are getting this one right so now let me over simplify it again so see here i can write it as which is equal to 4 upon u 4 upon u into sine of 4 upon u into sine of u minus 0 no need to write then plus 4 into cos of u 4 into cos of u divided by u square okay u square this is your 4 upon u square into cos of u <coughs> minus 4 into 1 is 4 upon this u square okay plus 1 by u into 0 is 0 minus sorry i can write here minus 3 divided by u into sine of u okay minus 1 by u square into cos of 4u cos of 4u minus into minus is plus so i can write here plus cos of u by u square okay is it clear cos of u divided by u square now let me again over simplify in the last step over here so i can write this is 4 by u sine of u okay 3 by u sine of u these terms are similar see here these two terms are similar so 4 by u minus 3 by u so 4 minus 3 is 1 by u sine of u i can write here okay now this one 4 by u square cos of u this is also u square in the denominator and cos of u is here okay so here i can write this is 1 times 4 by u square plus 1 times uh, cos of u what is that so 5 of cos of u i can write here right then this is your minus 4 divided by u square so also i can take here minus 4 and denominator is same actually i can take lcm from these three terms this is u square u square u square so i'm taking lcm then 4 cos of u plus cos of u is 5 cos of u and this 4 will remain here okay then last term will be minus this one 1 upon u square cos of 4u okay this is the final answer for your cosine transform okay this is all about the seven marks question these four marks are sorry seven marks are just in your pocket so go through it practice well and all the best for your examinations dear keep working keep, keep practicing for the mathematics subject so that you will pass this subject score this subject with the flying colors over there thanks for watching my video